<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines. This is Saturday, January 8th, and here we are, as always, taking a look at headlines from our city, from our state, from our country. We want to know what's going on. We want to know how it affects us, and we want to take a look at everyone's comments and questions and ideas and suggestions on how we can have an awesome life living here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English-speaking locals. So if this fits your bill, Grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage and spend some time with us this morning. And of course, if you are new, we'd love to hear about that. And you can let us know that you are new by writing the word new in your comment. And if you have something really important that you wish to bring up during the broadcast, a capital Q helps. Like the one Dan just shared with us. Went to the taco stand you went to for Taco Thursday. Food was excellent and the staff was wonderful. That makes me very happy. It's not far from your home. And I'm so very glad that you enjoyed that. Anyhow, we have um, not a lot of news for today. It, I think it's going to be one of those sh shows that is a little sh on the short side. But what we have, we will share with you in a moment. We have updates on the upcoming vaccination campaigns that are coming this coming week. Coming this coming week. Paco, time to enhance the vocabulary. Um, we also have an update on the COVID national stoplight, airline cancellations. I want to tell you about a wonderful um, late lunch that I had yesterday at a restaurant that I, we love and trust. And I have a few, a couple of uh, suggestions on things we may want to do if we feel like going out and about. And, um, and there you have it. So let's get this show on the road and get started with our news. And we'll take a look at your comments during the second half of the broadcast. Okay, well, let us start with vaccines. There's a lot of information here, uh, so pay attention as some of these campaigns may apply to you. We've been mentioning that there's going to be campaigns this coming week, and now we have details. So, Monday and Tuesday, at La Lija, between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., there will be two campaigns going on at the same time. The first one will be uh, second Pfizer shots for minors ages 15 to 17. Those that wish to get their second Pfizer shot and are minors from 15 to 17 should present their first vaccine certificate and should be accompanied by a, par by a parent or a guardian who will have to also show uh, official identification. At the same time, <clears throat> excuse me, also on Monday and Tuesday. Oh, hold on just a second. Oh, that's better. <laughs> At the same time, the, the first Pfizer shot will be also available for minors 14 to 17. So second shot for uh, minors 15 to 17 and first shot for minors 14 to 17. So that would be on Monday and Tuesday. 
Then on Thursday and Friday, uh, the campaign will be for seniors 60 years of age to and, and older, of course, to receive their AstraZeneca booster shot. Along with um, uh, seniors must present vaccination paperwork for their first and second shot, along with the new printout for the booster shot, which means that seniors must pre-register for the vaccine uh, for the booster shot in, in advance at the Mi Vacuna website listed in the article. It's the same website that we have been using all along. And finally, on this second campaign on Thursday and Friday, anyone that is 18 years of age or older that received their first AstraZeneca shot back in October will be able to receive their second shot. This is a, a leftovers campaign but only for the second shot. At this time, if you are a first time vaccine leftover and you are looking to get your first shot, there is nothing available right now. But we will continue to update all these campaigns um, as we get more information about them. What is important to know, and we touched base on this yesterday, I believe, is that we will be expected to pre-register in order to receive our booster shots. Um, let's see, the, the federal COVID stoplight has been updated and in the process it has lost its Christmas green sheen with 10 states back in yellow and three in orange. This is unfortunate. Jalisco and Nayarit remain in green for the time being, but with a third of the country in regression, we can only hope that we will continue to remain in the green for a while longer. We know that even though we can be green or orange or whatever color in the federal stoplight indicator, uh, our state is governed by statewide mandates as determined by our governor. We mentioned yesterday that the health board will be meeting this coming Monday in a couple of days, so we can expect developments or not this uh, coming Monday afternoon or maybe Tuesday. So we'll keep ourselves updating uh, the information as it becomes available. Now, we've been hearing about a significant number of flight can cancellations abroad due to COVID. And unfortunately, this crisis is now extending to Mexico with an increasing number of domestic and international flights being canceled, including flights between Guadalajara and Puerto Vallarta. Uh, so please keep this in mind if you're planning to fly to or from Puerto Vallarta in the near future. Uh, so, you know, call ahead, make sure that your flight is, is happening in order and um, hopefully you will not suffer a flight cancellation. Let me see, what do we have? I'm looking at some comments, but I'm gonna hold comments for a little while longer. Let us take a look at our weather forecast just to see what we can expect during this weekend. <music> Uh, it's only partly sunny, says Snarky Weather. The sun is choking like a dog. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, it is 24 degrees out there. Feels like 25. Humidity is at 58%. And uh, those that are still fans of Fahrenheit numbers should know that we are now enjoying 75 degree Fahrenheit temperature. Uh, our weather forecast for today calls for a partly cloudy day with a high temperature of 29, a low temperature of 17. Sunday, it will be a mostly cloudy day with a high temperature of 29, low temperature of 20. And we will begin our week with a mostly cloudy day with a high temperature of 30 and a low temperature of 19. Now, let's see what else do we have. Oh, I want to tell you, I went for lunch yesterday. Let me show you where I went. This is a place that we've mentioned before, and it is, of course, featured in our Versailles for Foodies map. I went to Marisco's Freddy. It's been a number of times uh, that I've been to this restaurant, and I was there yesterday with some friends. And it is so nice to know that a restaurant that you love and trust is, doesn't, doesn't disappoint. 
uh, Mariscos Freddy features uh, seafood, and Freddy used to be affiliated with the Ocho Tostadas brand for many years, but he branched out. And um, it's a great restaurant. If you haven't checked it out, we strongly recommend it. And of course, there it is on Calle Lucerna here in Versailles. And look at how many restaurants are just in this part of, uh, of Versailles. And of course, you know that you can take a look at our map, Versailles for Foodies, by uh, just going to the link. And the link we will put in the show notes. This is a free map that we've been doing. And we are still looking for more and more additions to it. There's a couple of restaurants on the list. If there are restaurants that you enjoy in Versailles that are not featured on the map, please let us know so that we can add them to our list of places that we would like to explore in the near future. Um, let's see. If you're looking for some uh, music diversions this evening, I wanted to let you know that Amy Armstrong and Fernando Gonzalez, uh, also known as, du as Duo Dorado, they will be performing at Nacho Daddy this evening with special guest Luis Rascón. He is an amazing multi-instrumentalist, equally at ease playing percussion or the drum set or the cello. We, we love what they do. And if you saw them on the concert on the 30th, you know that this intimate set includes a lot of great music and some great humor and you know just a chance to enjoy yourself so if it is in your comfort zone to go to nacho daddy and enjoy some live music this is something that we strongly recommend because this is live music and we love recommending live music shows also i wanted to let you know that uh, the talent competition this so you think you can rise is beginning to advertise their preliminaries the next one or the I think it was be the first one I don't know how many there's going to be but I found this advertisement for the one that is going to take place at the Palm Cabaret and Bar on Sunday the 23rd tickets are 350 pesitos and um, and this is a good opportunity just to see what local talent is doing to to become more popular and more outstanding I understand that the entirety of of the proceeds for the tickets is going to go to rise. I'm not sure how the monies are being split. And of course, you know that we are rooting for our very own Kathleen Atkins for Licks, but she is going to be participating on the following event, which is going to take place at Encanto, I believe, uh, the following weekend on the 30th. Um, but still, if you're looking for an amusing uh opportunity to support and enjoy local talent, this might be something you want to do. Um, last but not least, I always run into these articles that I read and enjoy, and I always want to share them. It never hurts to keep your, uh, your quality friendships in check. So I found myself reading this article on six sneaky habits that are hurting your friendships. Um, I'm sharing it here in case you're interested in this. I think friendships are so important these days in making sure that we keep ours well maintained is a top priority for Luna and for myself. Uh, now let me take a quick look at some of your comments just to see what everybody is thinking about aside from your wonderful hellos and good mornings. Uh, pam pam. What are you guys doing this weekend? I'm going to be walking. I'm going to be walking today, getting ahead on my walking and my taco responsibilities. So that's that's partly what I'm planning to do. And tomorrow is Sunday. Tomorrow I have absolutely nothing planned for the day, and we hope to keep it that way. Um, Albert says Pepe's was great for dinner last night. Pepe's. I wonder if you mean Pepe's tacos, because uh, that's the only Pepe's that comes to mind. If there's another Pepe's that we should know about, please let us know. Alan keeps patiently counting his days to PV, 62 now. By the time you get to the single digits, we're going to be so rooting for you, Alan. <laughs> um, more nice comments about the interview with Todd and Kathleen. Thank you so very much, Carol. We are looking to schedule an interview with our very own Logan, Logan Miller, who will hopefully um, be in his best behavior and if he's not, then I'll be in my worst behavior with him. Logan, I want to talk to Logan, and I think some of you might be interested in this subject. Um, so many people 
are comfortable in Emiliano Zapata and in the part of the city that has been traditionally the part of the city where most English-speaking people gravitate towards. But with so many of us uh, branching out to other parts of the city, for some, that transition is more challenging than for others. I'm curious to see where the challenges were, what the challenges were for Logan in making the decision and how the transition is working out for him. I know that for me, after 10 years of living in Emiliano Zapata, when I finally moved out and came to this apartment in uh, La Vena, it was, <clears throat> it was challenging at first, but now I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, do you find this interesting? Do you find yourselves uh, having a difficult time breaking from the comfort of uh, south of the Rio Cuale? I'd love to read your comments on this matter. Let's see. Important. Important. Smile, smile, smile. Just wanted to wish you a belated Happy New Year. We are enjoying our time here in Bucerias and are happy to have plus 28 degrees here rather than 38 below in Dawson Creek, BC, staying close to home. But if you think you feel comfortable enough meeting up for a cocktail, I am willing to bus in. Linda, that is such a sweet offer. Uh, but for better or worse, I am limiting my, my, my activities to, um, you know, to things that I have to do for work. I'm not doing much socializing these days. Um, should our paths cross, it'll be wonderful to cross paths with you, but please don't, don't take it personally if I politely decline your invitation at this time. Uh, let's see, this doesn't have a cue, but Javier, you are completely correct. We need to continue with our precautions. Don't let COVID exhaustion get you. It's easier, <clears throat> it's easier said than done. I know that there are a number of people out there that are really tired. I myself some days, you know, feel very drained by it. So if you if you find yourself feeling tired about COVID, um, don't let it get to you. I find that if I talk about it with my friends, uh, sometimes just expressing uh, the exhaustion or the frustration, however it's manifesting in your life, it helps. It helps a great deal. So um, give it a go. And if not, uh, do let me know what is um, your method of choice to try to combat the burden of the pandemic. We would love to get healthy tips from other friends in the cluster. Let's see what we have. Do, 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 do. Oh, this has an A. <laughs> we ask for cues, but this has an A. I love it. Paco, I'm working my way through the food maps. Thanks so much. Have a bunch of days planned. It's getting me into areas I never went before. You know, Albert, that's what the maps are for. If if going to areas of the city that you're not familiar with is what's happening, and if you're enjoying this, that nothing could make me happier than that, because that's that's what it's all about. You know, this is this is a good time of year to be walking out there and to be enjoying other parts of the city especially if you're out and about during the daytime. I cannot think of any particular part of the city that would be unsafe if you are walking during the daytime with some friends. I mean, there are some places out in the middle of nowhere, but it's unlikely that you will find yourself out in the middle of nowhere during the daytime. Let's see what else we have. Mary says, best neighborhood ever, Versailles. I would tend to agree with you, Mary, and I hope we can keep it that way. For a while there's already a bunch of new building projects that are coming to the neighborhood and we will also i am sure get to a point in which there are far too many restaurants is that even possible i think so but there's all kinds of great opportunities here to to enjoy the neighborhood not only go to restaurants but walk and do all kinds of things uh let's see what else dog comments on Ernesto's. I like Ernesto's Good Grub. It's such a dependable restaurant. And now that it's a little chilly, a nice tortilla soup from Ernesto's is, is a perfect meal because it lasts for a whole day, I swear. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, Albert confirms Pepe's Tacos. Great tacos. We love them. And we love them because it's probably the only taco place where you can sit down comfortably at five o'clock in the morning and get a meal. Not that you'll find your stroli at five o'clock in the morning out and about, but there's not that many eateries available, unfortunately, for people that work the late night shift. 
Um, oh, thank you very much for that FYI. Ramon says that Lucha Libre is seems to not be happening at Demonio Blanco. Uh, they're having events now at uh, International Convention Center. I'll keep my, my eyes open for that. But uh, for the longest time, uh, Demonio Blanco, the, the, the wrestling rink, used to be the place to go. Uh, let's see what else we have. Dee, 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 dee. I see comments about hearing from Logan. Thank you very much. Uh, I see. What else do I see? Do, do, do. Hello, Mateo. Mateo's getting his booster shot today at 3 p.m. in Mexico City. Good for you. Uh, Gouda. Gouda. I hope you're doing good, my dear. Thank you for the shout out about rice. The preliminaries start tomorrow. Ah, okay. They start tomorrow at the Palm at 3 p.m. Uh, it may be sold out, but there's five more Sundays before the grand finale at Teatro Vallarta. It is a wonderful way to support both the Rice Children's Shelter and the underexposed talent of local Vallarta folks. There you go. So there's a number of weekends available for you to enjoy local talent. And this is absolutely wonderful. We know that our friend Gouda is uh, hosting at least one of those events and... Um, and this is good to know. Thank you very much. Let's see what else we have. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, good. Bill went to Comedor Versalles, had the most amazing meal. It is beautiful, um, evil plated. It, it is beautiful, evil plated, and just had, and just a great atmosphere. Everybody needs to go there. Um, I don't quite understand the evil plated part, but um, but yes, Comedor Versalles is another wonderful place here in Colonia Versalles. I've been there a number of times. Their pizza is to die for, their thin crust pizza. They have this octopus pizza that is absolutely yummy if you eat octopus. If you don't, there's other varieties. There's another queue here. We're down for three months over summer. Wish I was now in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 20 degrees with five inches of snow here. Now that's some shit to be snarky about. Ha ha. Well, that is some shit to be snarky about. Uh, thank you for letting us know the weather in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That is some shit to be snarky about. And that absolutely deserves a cue. Uh, let's see. Javier says, for the first time in my life, having antisocial tendencies has helped me. It's a bit easier for folks like me to stay away from people. Um, I hear you. I hear you. Um, for me, the comfort lies in the fact that I find many ways to stay entertained in my own home, and I wish the same for other people. Um, let's see what else. And Logan makes a comment. Totally makes sense, and I am already finding after only three sleeps away from the south side, my head space is much less cluttered. I'm finding it easier to stay on task and compartmentalize my work away from my personal time. And really, my overall mood has enhanced tremendously. Well, the question remains, my dear Logan, whether we're going to have a serious interview about serious matter, or are we going to get tipsy or possibly high like the other time and have a silly interview, or are we going to do both? I don't know. Maybe the cluster can give us some suggestion of what they would like. I know that there's a bunch of things we can talk about, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So this brings us to the, oh, beautifully plated. I understand now. Thank you very much for that, Bill. I was not catching the previous reference, but that's wonderful. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, Javier wants a silly interview. Piece of cake. That's fun. Uh, and Ronald says, get a buzz on. Okay, we can do that. Um, <laughs> anyhow, I think we are at the end of our broadcast. As always, it is a pleasure to connect with you. Today is Saturday, so we will not be getting together tomorrow, but we'll be here on Monday morning. We don't know what time the health board is going to meet, and um, it, we may have some updates by uh, the time we do our broadcast on Monday. If not, I will definitely keep you uh, updated with whatever goes on with the health board and any potent, potential, potential, potential uh, changes in our health-related mandates that we should know about. 
Have a great weekend. Stay kind, stay happy, stay well fed. Don't get chilly. Find a shawl. If you don't find a shawl, learn how to make one. It totally changed my life. <laughs> Have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.